Way rather. When a gentleman is long kept in suspense, penitence may break his spirit. <laughs> a man a good air upon his trial and makes him risk another without fear or scruple. But all the way, it is a pleasure to be the messenger of comfort to the in the It is now I time to look about me for a decent execution <laughs> against next session. I ain't a lazy rogue. I don't want to hit something till he's hanged. A register of the gang. Jeremy's really burning up. Fingers tonight. He's a moth. A year and a half in the service. Let me see how much to stop those two is in. One, two, three, four, five gold watches. And seven silver ones. Should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth. I'm sorry. As am I. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. And then all will be well. You sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Though you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> so I thought. And yet. 
Okay. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. Listen to this, Hector. Thinks he can swagger on up here and declare himself king of the castle. Please, Matt, call this off. If the captain sees to us... To hell with the captain. And to hell with you, Mills. Who starts you on anyway? We're ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. Why is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. <laughs> Do you? Need... Never! <laughs> How do you like these odds? yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. These thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. He's got our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned. He's a shitty fella. Quiet! Here he comes. Make like you're working. You there. I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't... Won't be serving for another couple hours. Some biscuits in the barrel if you're desperate. Action. Are you James? Aye. Atham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer. So what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard any?
Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. It's just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Take care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? been topside. Our ships appeared in means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. It doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? They'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. <sighs> then I will. All right. All right.
Thank you. Ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. <laughs> 